Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingeleli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be answering neurons related questions from previous question papers. I'll be answering two questions guys. The first one is the one that you're seeing on your screen and we'll answer the second one when we're done with this one. So please do watch the video till the end. All right, um, the diagram below represents two neurons of the human nervous system. So we are having diagram one and diagram two. Remember guys, we have three different neurons. Um, that is your sensory neuron, your connector or interneuron, and also your motor neuron. In our specific question that we're dealing with now, we are however only given two different neurons. Let's see. The first question is asking you to identify part B. So let's look at part B. Let's scroll up. There is part B. So you need to identify part B. That is very easy. Part B is the cell body. Then the second question is asking us to name. This is very important. Read the question, guys, so that you know exactly whether they are asking you to name or give the letter or the function or explain. So they are asking us to name the part that will receive impulses and transmit those impulses to part B, meaning receive impulses and transmit those impulses towards the cell body. That's obviously the dendrite. Question 152 is asking you to name the part that will transmit impulses away from part B, meaning away from the cell body, exon. A for away. Easy peasy. Identify the type of neuron that is represented by diagram one. So type of neuron represented by diagram one, easy peasy one, with the cell body in the middle over here, that's the sensory neuron. So the answer, 153, is the sensory neuron. Then 154, name the type of neuron that serves as a link between the neurons in diagram 1 and 2 in the central nervous system. So diagram 1 we've identified, that's the sensory neuron. Uh, diagram 2 will obviously be the motor neuron. Now, the neuron that is a link between the two is obviously the interneuron or connector neuron. Interneuron or you can say connector neuron. Yeah. Then, 155. Diagram 2 shows a structural defect of the neuron. State the defect that is shown in the diagram. Let's look. Diagram 2, they are telling us that there's a defect. We must mention it first. So let's see. Is there anything wrong with the exons, cell body, um, the dendrites? Let's check all of that. What I'm noticing, there is something happening here in our myelin sheath. There is something that is happening there. Now, what we are able to see is that the myelin sheath is getting damaged. So that's the defect. We're stating what is basically happening in terms of the, of the defect shown in diagram two. So that's the damage. Damage of the myelin sheath. Or you can say instead of damage, I think you can say deterioration yes of the myelin sheet state the effect of the defect on the transmission of impulses so if the myelin sheet becomes damaged what happens to the transmission of the impulse now obviously if the myelin sheet becomes damaged that means there will be a slow transmission of the impulses very slow one yeah, the transmission will be very slow, guys. And the reason for that is because the myelin sheet there basically um, is acting as an insulating layer that surrounds the, the nerve fibers. 
So what it also does, it allows electrical signals to travel very quickly and efficiently along the nerve. So if they are damaged, that means there will be a slow, a very, very slow transmission of the impulses. So you do indicate that they'll be extremely slow transmission. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Of the impulse. Name the disorder caused by this defect. The damage of the myelin sheet. The disorder. This is a very popular question, guys. Multiple, multiple sclerosis. That's the name of the disorder. Let's look at the second question, guys. The second question, guys, and this question is from November 2024. There you go. Okay, the diagrams below represent a neuron with a myelin sheet. So this is the neuron with a myelin sheet, myelinated, and the neuron without a myelin sheet, unmyelinated. There is the neuron without a myelin sheet. Now, please note that the diagrams are not drawn to scale. Identify the type of neuron shown in the diagrams. Type of neuron. Remember, there's three types, guys. The type of neuron that is shown is obviously the motor neuron. Give one visible reason. Why are you saying this particular neuron that is shown in the diagram is the motor neuron? Um, let's see. We can say it's multipolar. Uh, meaning it has many dendrites. You can also speak about the cell body where it's located. It's located at the end. You can also speak about the exon being long and the dendrites being short. So that would be one visible reason. So you don't have to write all three, just one. So the first one, we are saying it's a motor neuron because this neuron has many dendrites dendrites or you can say it's multipolar multipolar or you can say cell body is located at the end cell body is located at one end actually at one end or you can say the exon you can talk about the exon being long um, and the dendrites being short. The dendrites being short. Just one. Two, five, three, four, three marks. We're not skipping this question. You know, in my videos, I always talk about um, the mark location from three to six or seven marks. We're not skipping those questions, guys. You do not leave empty spaces in the exam at all. Describe the function of the type of neuron identified in 2.5.1. You are basically being asked to describe. You are, na you are not naming the function. You need to make sure that your answer grants you that three marks, all of it. So describe the function of the motor neuron. Uh, this motor neuron basically transmits. So this neuron will transmit impulses what does it transmit you have to tell us it transmits impulses from where to where we know transmits impulses from the central nervous system to the effectors to the effector so now how do you get three marks here let me show you so a mark for saying transmit what exactly impulses from where from the central nervous system, you'll have to write it in full, guys, not CNS. You'll have to write it in full from the central nervous system. Or you can say from the interneuron, actually. From the central nervous system or neuron to the effector. That's your three marks. CNS is central nervous system. Write it in full, please. Two, five, four. Use the letters A, B, and C to indicate the direction in which an impulse moves through the neuron. 
Where is A? There is A, there is B, there is C. Indicate the direction using these letters. So this will obviously be C, A, B, C, A, B, two marks at the end. Check the marker location. So for the correct indication of the direction, two marks. This one was one mark. This one was one mark. Dendrites. Neuron has many dendrites. This is supposed to be an S. S here. Yeah. Name the disorder. Like I said, this is a popular question, my people. Um, name the disorder associated with the degeneration of the myelin sheets of the neurons. Mal T sclerosis. One mark. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I hope this video has helped you guys um, to prepare for your test or exam. These questions are from previous question papers, guys. I hope you have watched this video till the end. And if you did, please comment down below and let me know that you watched the video till the end. All the best.